My name is Humay Qasimzadeh. I'm from Azerbaijan, currently living in Ohio, and I'm doing my doctorate degree at Bowling Green University in Contemporary Performance Program in the studio of Dr. Satterley. And how I got to music. Um, well, I started when I was six years old. I started taking piano lessons. And at that time, I remember it very brightly that I was very interested in sound. Hmm. So I would go to the piano. I remember being as a kid, going to piano, press the key and just listen until the sound disappeared. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. It's really weird, you know? No, no, it's but, not weird. Yeah. You were meant to be a musician because of that. Yeah, I was interested that how the sound gradually changed through the time. You know, I was very much interested. And then I asked my dad if he could switch my schools because there was a very high level music school, specialized music school at age of 11. So I switched my schools. And then I did my undergrad at Baku Music Academy. And later I moved to Norway, did my master's there. And then I moved to New York, did my second master's at MSM. Yes, and now I'm in Ohio. So the school has been a very big part of my life and I can't wait. I mean, I'm looking forward to be done, but I'm very grateful for yeah. all the education I got, of course. That's wonderful. <laughs> what was it like to um, go to Norway and then, because you, you said you went to New York City after, yes. after, after yeah. our, what was it like yeah. to be between those it, two places? It was a cultural shock, <laughs> I think, because Norway is so like very quiet. Uh, and I mean, I'm people like tell me that I'm a very quiet person, like my personality is quiet, it matches with the, I, I, I don't know, I cannot really, um, yeah, I'm not sure, but Coming from Norway, very like beautiful nature, very peaceful, and you barely hear anybody actually like arguing in the streets at all. <laughs> it's that quiet. Wow. <laughs> so, That's very quiet. That's basically silent. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. And coming to New York, very loud city and very live city. I, I really, I always admire the contrast. You know, so for me, I really appreciate like coming from extreme quiet to extreme loud. It was a very interesting experience for me. It's also interesting that the way you describe Norway and the way you describe New York a little connects a little bit about back to your original experience with the piano, just to listen to a sound yes. and listening yeah. to sound. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's a really powerful um, type of um, tool of observation that you have. Um, could, so could you talk a little bit about um, how music fits into your life? Um, what is important to you in, in music? Uh, well, I can tell you that music has always been essential part in my life. And also like grew, growing up in a family where my dad plays tar is a national instrument. So there is a national music called, traditional music called Muham. So I grew up listening to all this folk music and my brother is a composer too. I got influenced by him as well. And he, I remember he had lots of old tapes of jazz. He was very interested in jazz by that time. So I got to listen to John Coltrane, Dizzy Gillespie, Bill Evans, all the jazz musicians. So like different cultures has always been mixed, you know, in one family and I grew up embracing it all. Uh -huh. And it helped me to be open, you know, to be open to culture, to appreciate different differences. So that's what, yeah, led me to explore new music too as well. What do you think is the thing that sort of drives or feeds your um, creative side? The, what, are the, what is the thing that helps drive you and make you want to do what you do in music? Mm -hmm. As a, as a pianist, I will say that I'm very interested to, you know, when you program your concert in the recitals, uh, I want to create a space where people feel they belong to. That meaning that you program pieces by composer of color, you program pieces by historically underrepresented group of composers, different genders, different ethnicities. So those things are very important for me as a musician. And... I like to find a way to make new music user-friendly. Okay. 
So find ways to rethink idealized rituals of piano performance recitals. So finding different ways to connect with the audience so that they don't feel they're separate from what's happening on the stage, but are also part of it. Okay. So those things drives me to share music that I'm doing. That's wonderful, yeah. Um, could you talk a little bit about something maybe outside of your life as a musician that um, may or may not directly relate to your life as a musician, but something that really is important to you outside of music? Something that comes to my mind the first is literature. Mm. I have a personal attachment to it. My grandfather was a famous Azerbaijani poet. My dad writes poetry. My mom writes children's stories. So literature, I was very much influenced by it. And I always understood how the different type of art is very connected to each other, is dependent on each other, influences each other. So like, um, you cannot say that music is separate from all the other works of art because it got influenced by it. And then one thing leads to another, another one leads to another thing. And um, so I understood that also like in general, like as a person, you never can say that I'm 100% different from all around uh, people yeah. around me. You know, you always see similarities that you're individual, but you see similarities that the things that you value, for instance, things that people value, you see those similarities and you understand that you're, everything is part of something bigger. Mm -hmm. Something that is bigger than our own self. You know? Sure and everything is connected to each other. Right, that's, that's totally true. Um, and I just wanted to ask if there's anything that's really important to you in today's world. Is there something like an idea or something you look forward to that's really important and matters to you deeply? Yeah, there are lots of things matters to me, uh, especially in today's world. Um, as being from Azerbaijan, um, Azerbaijan territorial integrity is very important for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, it's important for me to, um, the racial um, equality, gender equality, all these things are really matters. And I really, really hope that someday we'll live in a world that is very peaceful and friendly and yeah. I, I hope that everything will be fair. Mm. Yeah. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for taking the time to talk. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much.